A constant challenge for traders is to increase the upside potential of their trades while limiting downside risk. Enter Squeef or Squared Ethereum, which makes holders more money when price goes up and loses less when price goes down. Sounds too good to be true. There must be a catch, right? Right? Good morning, my name is James Buccini, and on this channel I explore new and emerging DeFi technologies. I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. So to understand Squeef or Squared Ethereum, first we need to understand convexity. If we look at this diagram, we can see that Squeef plotted against a 2x leverage long, this would be like a perpetual future contract on something like FTX or Binance, versus a spot holder, and this would be just buying and holding Ethereum in your account. You can see that if the price goes to zero, then the position is worthless anyway, but any other price difference gives different returns based on our investment holdings. Both the 2x leverage long and the spot holdings have linear returns. This means that the price is directly proportionate to the price difference of the underlying asset. However, with Squeef, there's a curve in the line, and it's this curvature in relation to price difference and returns that is known as convexity. So what's the catch? And there's always a catch, there's no free lunch in finance, except with airdrops. But generally, if they're getting a better risk to reward, then you'll be paying a premium for that. And with this product, that's known as the funding premium. So much like a leverage long on FTX or Binance, you pay a funding rate, you're actually probably gonna be paying a higher funding rate here because of the better risk to reward in your position. That means if the price goes up or down, you're better off. If the price stays goes sideways, the funding premium is gonna eat into your returns. You're essentially gonna be selling off a little bit of your position every day. In options trading, this is known as time decay, and it would be quite familiar. Whereas someone coming from a portfolio management kind of perspective, this might seem quite strange, whereas if the price of Ethereum just stays constant, you're effectively losing on your position all the time. But that's the price you pay for the convexity in that chart and the better risk reward in volatile markets. So how does Squeef work? Well, Squeef is designed to be a perpetual options protocol. So whereas an options product, you'd have a strike price and an expiry, so you could make a bet on Ethereum being above a certain price at a certain time or below a certain price at a certain time. This is almost like a rolling contract which keeps renewing itself. Squeeze has been designed by the team at Opin Finance. And this is one of the more well-established options trading platforms on Ethereum right now. So if you thought that the price of Ethereum was going up, you could take out a long position on Squeeze by going to Uniswap and buying the OSQTH token. And this token represents a squared Ethereum minus the funding premium. If you want to take out a short position, you would go to the platform, deposit collateral, and mint the OSQTH token, and then sell that on exchange. The collateral is posted in Ethereum, they recommend 200%. And the reason that is, is you're not actually taking out a short position on Ethereum, it's more of a short volatility strategy. This is gonna excel when the markets go sideways. So let's do a quick tour of the Squeef platform. This is opin.co, the opin finance website. And I'm actually connected to the Coven test network, so I'm not gonna be able to make any transactions, but we'll go through it anyway. It's a little bit of information here. One of the unique selling points of Squeef is that there's no liquidations on long positions. So if we go down to a 50% drop, this is roughly where you'd be liquidated on a 2X leverage long. So here with a leverage long, you lose your entire position, whereas with Squeef, you're only down 75%. On the right, we have the option to buy the Squeef ERC20 token like we spoke about. I assume this is linked back to Uniswap. We can open and close that position. And if we go into the short trade, we have the option to open and close a short position. So here we're providing ETH as collateral and we're minting and selling that Squeef ERC20 token for a premium. And you can see as we adjust this collateral ratio, it adjusts our returns and also the amount that the price would have to move for us to get liquidated because short positions can get liquidated. The safe amount is around 225% collateral to minted Squeef. There's also the option to buy back the ERC20 Squeef token and close the position. Up the top, we've got some menus, we've got our effective positions. There's liquidity provider fees for a Squeef ETH position in the pool. I think I read somewhere that this was roughly equivalent to a kind of a, a 1.5X long on Ethereum. Then we have the strategy section and it's saying now that the strategies are coming on January 24th. So the crab strategy is similar to selling a continuous straddle that resets periodically at the money. So it's effectively a strategy that's optimized for sideways price movement where there's not much fluctuation in price. It's called a crab because crabs walk sideways. 
on a centralized exchange like Binance, when you buy a perpetual futures product so like FPERP, then you're actually paying a funding premium and that gets taken out of your account every eight hours. This is quite difficult to do in DeFi because you need someone to sign in transaction fees. So instead of that mechanism, they actually have the funding premium calculated by where Ethereum Square should trade at and where the OSQTH token is actually trading at. That represents the premium that you're paying for that product. Obviously, this is at the discretion of the market. If it gets too out of line, I'm sure someone's going to step in and make an arbitrage trade and hedge their position. There's also a normalization factor, which is calculated by the original debt value multiplied by the normalization factor multiplied by the value of Ethereum. Because it is funding premium, the price of OSQTH is going to depreciate over time if the price of Ethereum stays constant. There's going to be a constant time decay in the value of that product. This is to incentivize people to take out short positions and deposit their Ethereum to mint the OSQTH token to sell on exchange. For that reason, I think that this product really only should appeal to short-term traders. It's not something that you want to kind of buy and hold for 20 years. Another interesting use case is to use this as a hedge for a, something like a concentrated liquidity position on Uniswap V3. With this, you're putting all your position into a tight price range. And if the price moves outside of that range, then your entire position is converted to the depreciating asset. Squeak can come to the rescue here because it's most valuable when the price moves to extremes. So using Squeak and then balancing it with a Petrol's future contract, you can effectively hedge a Uniswap V3 liquidity position. Simply put, a concentrated liquidity position on Uniswap V3 is a bet on the market going sideways. That's when that's most valuable because there's no impermanent loss. Whereas a long Squeak position is a bet on market volatility. For Solidity developers, this is useful as well because you can use it as an on-chain metric for implied volatility. From within Solidity code, you can check the funding premium, use that as a gauge for market sentiment and expected price movement. There's also automated strategies being built on top of this. At the moment, we're only seeing them from the Opium team, but I would expect more third parties to get involved as well. It's also well worth a read through the Opium GitHub repository because they've got a lot of useful code snippets in there and they've got things like templates and example liquidation bots for DeFi protocols. Squeeze has literally just gone live on the Ethereum mainnet with plans to roll out to layer twos in February and March. I think it'll be really interesting to see how much traction this gets early on because it becomes quite a niche product because of the transaction fees on the Ethereum mainnet. The long positions should only really appeal to short-term traders and the transaction fees means that it's only going to really appeal to short-term traders that are trading on DeFi protocols with large portfolios. The short positions or the short volatility positions, I think are much more appealing to long-term traders and also people that want to build vaults and different strategies on top of this protocol. I hope you found this useful. Please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. If you're interested in DeFi, then consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching to the end.